Hello everyone, in this video we will apply some filters, some basic filters to our photos in our Flutter app. And the first thing I'd like to do with you is to go to the PubSpec journal file. And here inside I will put image picker and I put the newest version inside. Now we can start then our application and go over to our main dart file. So now we have started the application and here I have basically only put an icon button inside and every time we press on this icon button then we want to pick an image and this is what we can do with this library which we have inserted here, so image picker and I will just take this pick image method and write here inside image picker. I will also import this image picker library and basically we get an image from the gallery and with this image the next thing what we want to do is to read this image so we go here file and image.path and then we need to import this here also so we need to import .io and here read as bytes sync and we want to read it into some image bytes and I will create here a variable at the top so it's like a list of int and image bytes and yeah we also want to call here set state so that the UI will be re-rendered new if we load the image and yeah I think that's what we can do and now we have to show in our body property this image so I will write here build image. Okay, I will just create here this new method then. And it will return a widget. So basically we return here an image.memory and then we put here inside the image bytes. Um, because we have here not at the beginning the bytes because we have in the beginning not set the image here, we have not picked the image, therefore we get an error message. So I will write here image bytes if it's not null. Then we show this image, otherwise we will show just a container. Okay, image bytes. And then I hot reload it. And now we can select an image. I will press allow and now we can select here for example this image of me and yeah we got this image displayed in our app and now we want to add some basic filters and how we can do this easily in Flutter is by wrapping this here around with a color filter it widget and this widget takes some parameters so Let's see what we have. So we get here color filter and now we have here some options to and now we write here inside color filter dot mode and this takes two parameters. First of all we can choose here color. So for example I take black and then we choose a blend mode. So I take here color and now if we hot reload it you will see immediately that um, we have here a black image. You can also change it to another color, for example orange. And then you see here an orange image instead. So this is how you easily can change the color of your image. But you can also apply other filters and therefore I have downloaded this file here, color filters. And you can get it from this uh, link here. So let's open it up. Here you see um, some filters which we can use and which are predefined by the Flutter team. So we have here first of all the invert filter, then we have a sepia filter and also a grayscale filter. And yeah, let's just copy all of these things here and put them into this file here. So I have done it already and I named this class color filters so that I can access these filters easily. So I will just copy this name here and now instead of here using this color filter mode, I will just comment this out and instead we can simply use here this color filters and then I need to import this file here, which is exactly this file which we have created.
created here before. And then I can choose here what I want. So first of all, I choose, for example, this grayscale filter, and then we get this black and white. We can also choose here sepia, then we get a sepia filter, and here's also invert if you like it, so you get like strange colors. So this is basically what we can do. We can apply different basic filters. And one thing to mention is, for example, if you take here a PNG file, so this is a PNG file, and we can basically take here all these filters, grayscale, then you see it in gray, uh, or in sepia, or in invert, all fine. However, if you try to use this other mode, which we had before, so if we use this mode, uh, then you see unfortunately that the color is here also in the transparency so this is not really working so you cannot use this color filter mode for PNG files but if you have GPG files this works properly and everything is fine. If you want to use uh, just PNG files then you need to go with these defined color filters and then everything looks fine and the transparency will stay transparent. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!